City. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Let's do it for Sean Gota. Let's do it for the lads. One, two, three. Everybody go. Go City. <laughs> he does sound like, <laughs> like Zippy <laughs> from Rainbow. Just Google Zippy Rainbow. Go on YouTube and look at it. It's like a 1980s TV show. Man literally could do zippy impressions let's do it come on let's do it for our history sometimes i think mark goldbridge is the kiss of death we know what's coming because we've seen the game football gods are real man we need to win this looking forward to mount says aaron right i'm about ready to start the clock here gundawan kicks the game off and we're ready to go <sighs> Look, Man City have gone long ball already there. Flicked into Haaland. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fuck are we doing? You can't... I, I shouldn't laugh. It's my own team. But it's, watching other people's reactions kills me. <laughs> oh, no. Look, at, I want to go back and watch that again. What's it again? Look, Man City have gone long ball already there. Flicked into Haaland. That there. The goal's gone in. Right, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was me. I was like that. No way. Did the game really start? Am I watching a highlight? I, I couldn't believe it. The fuck are we doing? You can't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. What did I say before the game? Pick up the fucking runners. 15 seconds in. Look at the anger. Look at the... It's right to be angry. 15 seconds is a madness. 15 seconds. Pick up the runners, I said. The zippy voice has gone. This is Mark Goldbridge's real voice. Pick up the runners. Gundawan has got a bloody volley on the edge of the box, unmarked. Fucking useless pricks. <laughs> oh, he's angry. He's so angry he's developed an underbite. Oh, Mark. What a waste of time. You've just fucked it. You absolute <laughs> dickheads. <laughs> Suck your mum, suck your mum, yeah, I said suck your mum. What's it gonna call the first 10 seconds? What? What? What was that? No, 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 what was that? What? How? How? What? No, 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 man. I didn't come up with this. What the fuck? What the fuck? It got from going to gun, but. Oh. Oh my god. It's rendered him speechless. It's just mutterings and utterings of frustration, swear words, and nothingness. Why we always do it? Why we always start so poorly? Well, we don't normally concede in 13 seconds, to be fair. What? <laughs> Fucking long ball, assholes. They all, they all lie on the long balls. That's all. Bro. Long ball, assholes. Long ball. That's what I'm gonna call City from now on. Long ball, arsehole. But what a, what a volley! What a volley! What a volley! And ah, uh, David De Gea. Uh, I've seen people blaming De Gea for that first goal. That I, you can't blame him for the first goal. For the first goal, give him. That's not on him. He can only watch right now, man. My God, what a volley, man! What the fuck, man! <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Who we got? Who we got? Oh! oh, I don't want to watch these two. I don't want to watch these two planks. Uh, by the way, I like them really. I'm only... <laughs> Blah, 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 blah.
my god, bro! It all came gone, gone! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! How many people are just gonna miss oh that goal? Oh my god! I know, yeah. How many people either at the ground or at home are gonna miss that goal? Who doesn't watch football from the start? I don't understand the concept of that. In life in general, if you're just on time, you're late. You should be 15 minutes early to everything. Bare minimum in life. Otherwise, you're a loser. Right, what's next? That's a life lesson there. Life lesson. What's going on next? Goldbridge. I, I, don't, I don't know. So we're not, we're just not watching Gundogan. We're not. No, we, we decided to not mark him all game. For sod it. Let him have some pop shots. Not marking Gundogan. You know, Gundogan scored, right, with a, a GA of like 0.07 combined. 7% chance of scoring those two goals. And he did it. Today. I don't know why I'm smiling. It's just a madness. For fuck's sake. I just I just give him the treble. Give him the treble. Because these are these lot. That's it. Just award it. Forgetting a Milan. Just award him the Champions League trophy now. Goldbridge wants out. Did he rage quit? Are it not, they're not serious. We're just not serious. We are not serious. It's as simple as that. Fucking give him the treble. Idiots. <laughs> That's it, he's gone. I like, many United was serious yesterday. They, we just got caught out by two very good strikes. The second one, though, I kind of didn't blame De Gea yesterday. 24 hours later, my mind has changed. I think he should have got across a little bit quicker. We're just not serious. We've gifted two shit goals in this game. I mean, they were The first one wasn't shit. I got his thing set, it weren't shit. I don't know what he's watching. Well, to be fair to Gundogan, he's took him well. Have we been on Mars? Have we been in a bloody space rocket? He's their best player. Oh, fucking hell. I don't <laughs> get it. <laughs> Look, I understand. I know the frustration. Um, there we go. Wait for it. 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 So bad defensively and... De Gea, they're all listening, patting him on the back there. No, I'd, I'd move him on quickly, De Gea. He, he wouldn't be for me. He's not. <laughs> Get him out the door. We don't want you, De Gea, is what Roy Keane's saying. Like, take your trophy. I get Man United back winning trophies. Absolutely not. Um, so United were bound to improve from last year. So this idea, everyone patting him on the head is just it's ridiculous. Would you keep I, I agree. I agree with Roy Keane. I think that the, the, the David De Gea situation... Because of all those barren, horrible years under LVG and even un under Oli at times where he was keeping us in games, he was stopping us from losing and drawing many, many more than we should have done. There is this sentimentality surrounding De Gea that we have to just keep backing him and backing him and backing him. Yes, he's the, the last bastion and shining light of the Fergie era. He, he's the last guy, he's the, the only guy in this current squad who's won a league title with Man United. But that's part of the problem. We have to look beyond him and Roy Keane so spot on. And I've seen a lot of people focus yesterday on how do you catch City? City have more of the ball than us. It's because they can play it from the back. It's because their goalkeepers can ping balls into their back line, into their defence, into their forwards and find their targets. 17 times yesterday, David De Gea goes to clear the ball or go for a medium to long, long range pass to an opponent and gives it straight. Not I'm not even, even including the ones where we challenged for the ball and lost it. I'm talking just went straight to a City player. 17 times. It, it's completely and utterly unforgivable. That's his job. Make... No, but you wouldn't, well, you wouldn't keep him as a number two, would you? Well, he couldn't rotate. No, he wouldn't want to be number two. He's been number one at United for, what, 10 years? He wouldn't stay on to be... He's done well for United, though, in, in the past. I don't think so. I think he's done okay. Well, he played the, he's a player of the year like four Pretty times in a row, didn't he? Yeah, what a big deal is that? You know, it's about... Working's right again, winning player awards at clubs, it's it's only good if you're doing it in great seasons, really. Individual player awards mean very, very little to winners. It's all about winning the Prem, Champions League, FA Cups, League Cups, titles. That is what's it, what it is about. And look, he's won a number of trophies at Man United. But for me, David De Gea, the likes of Schmeichels and, and, and Van der Sar are ahead of him in terms of legacy at the club. And football has changed, how you play has changed, and he needs to be moved on. That there's no doubt about that in my mind. Roy Keane. Spot on. I can't remember anything he had to do other than pick the ball out of the back of the net for the penalty. Ortega had nothing to do. Our front four for a Manchester United attack was toothless. And when you're bringing in Bout Veghorst with, 
I saw a United fan on Twitter say when Veghorst came on, it was like having a man sent off. <laughs> that that is true. Listen, bringing on Veghorst is just is 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 it's what we the hand we're dealt with because the club didn't enable funds to replace Cristiano Ronaldo with. It is what it is. We we've been over that ground before. We're not going to bore people with it again. I don't think United's attack was toothless yesterday, though. I have to disagree with Mark on that. Ilkay Gundogan scored two, one screamer and one good shot from outside the box. Haaland had a really good opportunity from close range that David De Gea saved well. Bernardo Silva had a shot from wide on the right that went wide. Other than that, the rest of their shots all went over the bar. When you look at Man United yesterday, obviously we... Uh, Rashford had a header that went just wide. He had a shot that went just over. There was Garnacho shot that almost curled in. There was there was the header and opportunity right at the death of the game, just over the bar, as an example. As an example, United had chances too. This was two teams that nullified each other yesterday. City had the majority of the ball, but really couldn't penetrate our box and sort of create opportunities in there. And they did the same to us. Now, Man United saying Man United's attack was toothless. I kind of get it. But you've got to remember from our point of view, our main number nine was out injured. Our main right winger was out injured. Bruno had to be moved out in that position to accommodate because there isn't anybody else. We had Veghorst coming on from the bench. If we had three more players of just Garnacho's level and above to come on from the bench or to start the game, I think we'd have created a few more opportunities in the game. Plus, the midfield, just you've got Casemiro that did a decent job yesterday. But with the lack of physical prowess from Ericsson and Fred's inability on the ball, it was so hard to create a base and a foundation for attacks. Plus, I mentioned it already, giving that ball away so often from the back by the goalkeeper. You just, you're not holding on to possession enough. You've got to improve all those areas for the attack to have more teeth. It isn't just about having better strikers. We've seen many teams have world-class strikers. But if the team hasn't got a foundation behind it to create, they sit there twiddling their thumbs. You've got to get that balance right for me. I get where Goldbridge is coming from. I think he's slightly wrong on this one. In terms of that being the focal point, what comes before it is key. If City couldn't play out from the back, if their back line was leaky, if their midfield couldn't dominate, as they do, the attackers would get less opportunities in games. That, that, that's my view. I'd love to get your opinion on it. Some great pieces of content here, by the way. All the links for the channels are in our description below. Please hit the like and the share button. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. Make sure you follow us on our TikTok account as well. Link and the QR code you can see on the screen right now. Links in the description. Take care, goodbye, God bless, and I'll see you all again soon.